In yoga, we focus on the elasticity of the spine, therefore we're doing lots of asanas to help us to gain that mobility. And more importantly, we are able to sit down for long hours, if we wish to, for meditation and not feel the pain or aches. So I hope that you will enjoy this tutorial. Let's begin right now. Let's start with the first pose, the cat-cow pose. Although there are two poses, but they're always done together. Let's go on all four. So our palms shoulder width apart and our knees hip distance apart. So just aware that our shoulders directly over your wrist, not to stress the wrist, and our hips over the knees. Tuck your toes, your knees hip distance apart, they're not together. Inhale. As we exhale, round the mid back towards the sky, chin towards the throat, tail between the knees. Take a deep breath here, inhale. As we exhale, tail up, chest opening, gaze far. Take a deep breath here in the cow pose. As we exhale, back to the cat pose. Slowly rounding the back, stretching the spine, inhale. As we exhale, slowly tail up, do not collapse. Chest opening, make sure the shoulders are not squeezing. And just eyes closed or gaze far or up. Take a deep breath. Last one, exhale, rounding the mid-back towards the sky, stretching and opening up the mid-back. Take a deep breath again, inhale. As we exhale, tail up. Chest opening, lengthening the spine and going back into the cow pose. Inhale. Exhale, slowly return. Let's counter stretch, bring the knees together, relax your toes, round the back, slowly shift the hips back. So the forehead's down and hands beside the feet, relax the neck and shoulders. Elbows bend and relax. Breathing deeply into the lower back. And exhale. Inhale. As we exhale, slowly crawl up and come up. Next pose, let's practice seated forward bend, Paschimottanasana. So we can sit like this. If your back is really tight, hamstring really tight, you can sit on a cushion or a yoga block. So I'm going to practice the first one with the feet apart and the second time, I'll practice with the feet together. Okay, so more important, the toes are pointing up, stretching through our heels, reach the arms up, inhale. As we exhale, chin slightly forward and folding forward, lengthening. And release your hands. You can be on the thighs, knees, shin, ankles. You can place your hands like this. Relax the shoulders. Do not squeeze and breathe deeply into the lower back. Releasing the hamstring as we exhale. Inhale, reaching far, coming all the way up. Sitting tall, taller, taller. And exhale, release. So let's bring the legs together if you can. We do one more time and we hold there to breathe. So feet together or feet apart. Reach the arms up. Inhale. As we exhale, stretch the chin slightly forward. Don't squeeze the shoulders. Lengthening. Open up the back. So this is a back stretch also. So your hands can be on the sh knee, shin, ankles. You can also hook the index and thumb around the big toe. Or you can place it around the feet like this. So breathe deeply into the lower back. As we exhale, let go of all tension. Om. Slowly reach far, coming all the way up. Sitting taller, taller, taller. And let's do the counter stretch. We do a gentle counter stretch, practicing the reverse tabletop. So bend the knees. Let's have our palms shoulder width apart and the fingertips pointing to the front. 
So press the feet down, slowly lift the hips up and knees away from the shoulders, gazing up or back and take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly gaze forward and slowly return. And coming back to the star pose. That yoga pose for a better posture, we can come up on our knees. All right, and from here, okay, you can keep the knees slightly apart like this. Just make sure we're standing tall. And next, we're going to extend our right leg. And from here, we're going to reach the left hand up and the right palm facing up this way. And inhale here. As we exhale, slowly stretch to the right side, opening up the side of the body. Just aware that we're not dropping the shoulders down. Reaching further if you can, don't force. And breathe into the side of the body. We're also stretching the spine sideways. Breathing. 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 Inhale, coming up. And exhale, relax. Let's slowly extend the left knee. And from here, standing tall, let's reach the right arm up and left palm facing up. Okay, we're going to lift the ribcage up slightly. Inhale. As we exhale, slowly stretch to the side. Opening up the side of the body. Again, avoid collapsing. You can go higher, no problem, as long as you feel the stretch. There's no point going deeper and then we are collapsing. Okay, or putting stress in the hips. And focus on your breathing. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, relax. And slowly bring the knees. If comfortable, you can sit in Virasana. Relax the feet, come back to center, relax the shoulders. We will also continue with a gentle stretch for the neck. Slowly look towards the right side. Slowly turn the head to the left side. Center. Slowly chin up and face up. Return to center, inhale as we exhale, chin down towards the throat. So don't drop the head forward, okay? So keep the, yeah, just feel the stretch in the back of the neck and not dropping the head forward. And come back to center. The fourth pose for today, I'll recommend the half spinal twist. Let's practice the modified version. So from here, in this position, okay, on your heels, you're going to slowly shift the weight to the right side. And then we're going to bring the left leg over. Okay, adjust the right foot slightly. Just make sure we have a good sitting here. So the left sit bone is down. And slowly extend your right knee. Okay, and adjust one more time so you're very comfortable sitting tall. Again, if you're rounding a lot, you can always practice with a firm cushion or a yoga block. So pointing the toes up, sitting tall, open up the chest. Okay, from here, we're going to slowly turn the body to the left side. You can feel the belly, the navel moving towards the left thigh. Left hand behind to support your back, support your spine. Okay, so inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, lean forward slightly. You're going to gently hug your left thigh, left knee, and then slowly twist. You can gaze back or you can close your eyes. And focus on your breathing. Each time we inhale, we lengthen the spine. Each time we exhale, we feel the space and maybe twist a little bit more without squeezing. Breathing. Breathing. Ooh. Slowly inhale, right hand all the way up. And exhale, twist back to center. And relax. Okay, from here you can also just straighten the knees like this. Okay, point the toes up and slowly bring the right leg over, adjust. Okay, so keep the back straight. Just imagine you're sitting against the wall. So the head, the shoulder blades and the lower back is gently 
touching or very close to the wall okay so you're aware of your spinal alignment and then we slowly twist towards the right side so this hand will support you to keep the spine straight and then make sure the left toes are pointing up so it's not collapsed all right and from here inhale lengthen as we exhale twist more lean slightly forward gently hug your right outer thigh so keep the back straight first and then slowly you can twist so you can look back preferably eyes closed awareness of your breath awareness of your spine alignment and breathe deeply inhale taller exhale twist breathing 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 Om. inhale left hand up exhale gently twist back to center let's do counter stretch for both sides let's slowly bend both knees from here gently round the back and you're going to have the forehead just moving towards the knees so stretching the whole entire back so we are flexing our spine at this moment inhale sit taller 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 looking far take a deep breath inhale and exhale relax and next we're going to move on to the last pose for today and we'll be standing up in this pose we're going to stand on our mat or you can also stand on the floor so we're going to stand tall here and when you're ready we're going to slowly pick up our right foot so if this is challenging for you you can always place it uh, beside the ankle beside the knees or you can join me and place an inner thigh and if you have hyperextended knees you can bend your left knee slightly so we're going to touch your hips I'm just aware that our hips square standing tall so we're not twisting our hips and then when you're ready palms in prayer position you're going to interlock your thumbs and from here gazing far slowly reach the palms up like the leaves of the trees growing towards the sky ground your left foot down like there's roots growing out of your the sole of your foot feel the opposing energy line breathing so common mistake is when people puff the ribcage forward you want to make sure the back is straight you're not arching a lower back so awareness of your spine breathing 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 Om. inhale exhale slowly bring the palms back to the heart center inhale exhale release the hands okay slowly release the leg let's do a counter stretch here and just shift the hips to the right side and gently to the left side too let's ground our feet one more time standing tall and when you're ready we're going to slowly pick up the left foot so beside the ankles beside the knees or you can grab over the ankles place in the inner thigh press into the inner thigh check your hips stand really tall you can bend your right knee slightly if you have hyperextended knees relax the shoulders when you're ready hands in prayer position you can stay like this it's fine or you can interlock your thumb and slowly let's reach our palms up towards the sky so aware that we're not squeezing the shoulders the arms can be in front of the ear or beside the ear I don't recommend behind the ear because many people might just arch your back okay unless your upper back is really open you've been practicing for a long time and you're aware of your spinal alignment breathing so just visualize yourself like the tree rooting down through our right foot spreading our leaves up towards the sky feeling tall 
breathing, 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 inhale, now do not collapse, as we exhale, feel taller and taller as you bring your palms back to the heart center, inhale, exhale, release the hands, Okay, slowly release the left foot, hands on our hips, slowly move the hips to the left side. Center, inhale, gently exhale to the other side. And slowly come back to a sitting position. Tension. Now in yoga, we practice the asanas that allow us to gain elasticity in the spine, but not just flexibility. We want to be strong enough to be in a neutral spine with no pain. All right, then this will allow us to actually sit longer for meditation, mindful breathing. This, of course, is linked to our mental wellness. So I hope that you find this tutorial useful. If you're interested to find out more about proper posture, whether it's mindful pilates or gentle yoga, poses that will help you, you can click on the link below. If you find this tutorial useful, you can like this video because you'll reach out to more people and also consider subscribing to this channel if whatever I share resonates with you. And for the next video, I recommend you to watch this video right here so they can help you to improve on your spinal health and mental health. Until the next time, Namaste.